Well, the quick update on Buck, he's doing pretty good, but today, today he gets his second round of antibiotics. So uh, we're gonna try to go ahead and give him those two shots and get some more ointment put on where his stitches are at and go ahead and get him fed and see how he's doing. Big needle. I got him. Got dead. We tight right there. I mean, loosen that trunk. Loosen that trunk. Nope, I'm good. Got Come on. I don't know if y'all can see his stitches right here or not, but they're coming along real good. It's all together. None of them has come out. His lip hadn't come out. So we're going to put a little bit of the green stuff on there to help him keep all the bacteria and stuff out right on. And he's been getting a little bit of butte in, in his feed. That way he's not as sore. So we're going to cake it on there pretty good. And now the hard part is getting it on his lip. But his leap is looking a lot better. It's all holding together. And um, so uh, I think in a few more days, he'll be all right. You know, the, the vet's gonna come back in about 10 days and take the stitches out. And I think he'll be ready to go by then. Yeah. Welcome back to Worthy Family Homestead. Today, it's a hot one out here, but we got some things that we need to do. You know, in the last video we showed you, we showed that big old gully washer rain that we had a little over five inches. Well, believe it or not, uh, less than a week later, we had another go around of about the same amount come in kind of early morning overnight type thing. But uh, it really made a mess of the cow barn. It was already wet from the first go around. And so today we got just a little bit of dirt left over. So we're gonna try to get that dirt put in, in buck stall because it's the wettest hope we can get it dry a little bit so come on we'll take a look in here and but as you can see it's dried out a little bit from what it was you can see that light spot over there it's where it's dried out some but the rest of it is just a muddy mess right on um here we got some water standing in places that we've got to get uh so i'm gonna try to take a little bit of dirt i got left see if we can get it to dry out some of this in here for him when he comes in and out and speak of the devil there he comes right there so uh, we're about to run him back out so we can get the tractor in here with all the dirt and try to get him fixed up. But if you want to, um, his stitches are looking pretty good. Uh, a few more days, hopefully we'll get them taken out. 
We're gonna try to get Buck out of here for a few minutes and go ahead and try to get the tractor in here and get some of that dirt scooped in so we can dry stall out a little bit. What are you doing to you? Well, it's a little bit better than it was. It's still really wet in here, and I'm gonna not put any more in here right now until it dries up a little bit more. Uh, hoping that fresh dirt will kind of soak up some of that moisture that's already in here, and uh, it'll help it dry out some more. And once Buck comes and goes a few times, the cows coming out here, they're gonna mash it down pretty good anyway. And uh, after they do that, I'll come back with another load of dirt and try to get it back up like it was before.
Well, earlier today, coming back from the grocery store, uh, Kim looked over this way and saw a couple of edit fence knobs had been broke off again. So we're gonna try to fix them while we're out here and get all this taken care of at one time. But these old plastic knobs, every so often they will break. I thought there was just one that was broke, come off the post. But we got looking at here again, actually the ear on this one's broke off, so this came apart too. So we'll try to see if I can get these put back together real quick. Well, there you go. We got to fix back again one more time. We'll wait till these get a little more weathered and after to get some age on them and add in the elements, they'll get brittle and they'll break off too, but uh, we'll just replace them as it comes to it. That's why it's always good to have a few extra bags of knobs laying around. Uh, when in case you do have one to break, you ain't got to run town and pick up a new bag of knobs. What do you think about the new dirt? Hmm? What do you think about all the new dirt? Come on, let's go look at the new dirt. Come on. Let me look at the new dirt. Come on. What do you think about the new dirt? Hmm? What do you think about all the new dirt? Bella's eating her feet over there. Ooh, now I stepped on my foot again. The plastic bottom me. Hey cat, look, lick the cat, lick the cat. <laughs> Where are you going, Otis? Where are you going? Where are you going? Come here. Come Here comes the donkey. Mm -hmm. It's in a bee. Mm -hmm. Hey girl. What you doing? Mm -hmm. mm. What? Well, it's not on it. Hey George. Are you coming? Come here. Come on. 
Have you ever seen a bull that you can pick up his foot like you can a horse to check if they got stones or not? So Elmo don't care. So I'm gonna check his feet real quick, see if he's got any stones or not. Alright, baby, let's see foot. Let's see foot. Yeah, buddy, look at her. That one looks good. Go check your back one. You gonna back up in the poopy so I can't get to it. All right, let's check your back one. Let's see. Uh. <laughs> <laughs> you don't like that one's good, do you? Uh, you don't like that one's good, do you? But what are you doing to me? What are you doing to me? I don't think there'll be another one like him, so I hope he lives for a long time. And I know he's got a place here as long as he lives. He ain't never gonna go nowhere, so he's a good one. He gets along good with everybody, he gets along good with the donkeys, all the little calves, he gets along good with us, uh, Abby, Otis, everybody, so he's a good one. <laughs>